I'm Kendall Weaver, welcome to it. This is Life on Kauai, another episode that I finally got around to producing so that you can enjoy uh, driving around the island. In case you're not here and you're longing to be here, I figure this is kind of a nice treat if you're trying to get your fix a little bit. Uh, look, it's exciting, I'm driving through the parking lot at Hanalei Bay. All right, that's not so exciting, but I wanted to show it to you because I want this series to be practical. I want you to look at it and know what you're in for when you get here. Like for instance, you can drive up there and you can park, and then you can get out of your car like I did here and walk. Now these videos actually were done on separate days, so you'll notice it's a little cloudy right now at Hanalei Bay. And then when I get back in the car, you'll notice it's uh, sunny, uh, but windy. So there's a parking lot where you come in. You'll notice there's not much here in the way of uh, buildings. There's no shopping, there's no food. Uh, there is a building right there that seems to have restrooms in it, but it's not been open during the time I have been on the island. So I think that that's going to be open eventually. I don't know the status of that really. People are washing the sand off their feet there at that little shower you can see. You'll find those throughout the island because we know that you love the island, but you don't want to take that much of it home with you. And trust me, you spend a day out here and you will have sand in your toes. You will have sand all kinds of places. And so those little man-made showers, they're kind of nice to just wash yourself off, wash your flip-flops off, uh, your gear, that type of thing. I wanted to take a moment and stroll out onto the Hanalei Pier. It's one of the most photographed and painted places in the world. I'm sure you can see why. Even on a cloudy day, this is a, just a beautiful spot. The river comes in there from the right, uh, and you see people on their jet skis and such going up and down the uh, up and down the river now look at how big the bay is as far as the eye can see over there to the other side you can walk all the way over there there is beach uh, that goes all the way up and down and in just a few minutes actually we're going to hop in the car and i'm going to show you uh if you drive around this bay i'll show you some of the other spots you can end up but i wanted to take a moment to walk out on the pier because this famous little pier is quaint and beautiful and look how empty the beach is so as i'm recording this we're in the middle of a pandemic so that's a thing, and it means that there are a lot fewer people on Kauai and traveling in general right now. It's kind of nice for those of us who are here because the beaches aren't crowded at all. This beach, though, is so big that you usually can move around without being too close to other people. One of the nice parts uh, about this beach is that it's big enough for everybody and yet still feels um, really intimate and, and quaint and charming, and, and people just love it. Uh, this pier is intimidating looking and as we go out see so you'll see the kid there goes off to the left he just dumped into the ocean well the thing is he can almost stand up right there it, it looks like we're a long ways out here but honestly it's not that deep in fact you'll see there's a sign up here to the right that says uh what does it say there's a sign someplace that says uh shallow water and it's just so that the uh so that kids well so that kids or adults don't dive off uh, into water that they don't realize is, is not that deep. Uh, I, I want to say it's, well, it depends on the tide, but it's a few feet deep. Oh, look at this dog having fun. I love a happy dog on the beach. There's nothing better than that. Uh, you'll see a lot of people jumping off here, though. It's just about right for that. Uh, the lady here to my right, uh, she's going to go uh, in just a moment. We'll see. Here she goes. Um, get the camera over there, Kendall, because I was paying attention to the people on the uh, pier with me. Oh, there goes uh, a guy right now. You know that dog wants to jump, right? He really wants to just go ahead. And this lady, here she goes. No, 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 she's not going to do it. Sorry, she's not going to do it after all. We'll get back to her. I'm sure she's going to do it. I'm sure she's going to find the energy and the, the courage to do that. Way out there to the right, by the way, there are breaking waves. If you're a little more serious of a surfer, there are bigger waves right out there. You always see a handful of people out there who are a little more serious uh, about their surfing. Oop, there we go. Not sure what it is about human beings we just like to jump off stuff into other stuff you know wouldn't matter if it was a pile of mattresses down there or a bunch of hay oh look there she goes there she go no no she's not gonna go maybe she's gonna go uh, she's gonna go now nope nope she's not gonna go he's trying to encourage her to go and these people have all gone there in the water we know that it's not shark infested there's lots of people oh, wait nope yeah, nope no I get all right, I'm giving up on that lady, and I'm going to show you the rest of the pier. You see these mountains. These mountains are mythically beautiful, especially when the sun comes out. But when it does rain, you can look off into the mountains and see waterfall after waterfall after. You'll see five waterfalls coming down the mountain there that you don't see when it's, when it's dry. Um, I was out, uh, I believe, on this day of filming and looked down to my right, right there where you're looking now, and there was a big black area there, and it looked like 
dirt or dirty water. And then I looked down and I realized it was thousands and thousands and thousands of little two or three inch fish. And I'm not sure what they were, but they were, they were taking up their space there and it looked like a giant black oil pool or something for a moment. So you'll see that there's families out here. Uh, again, a lot of people do surf out here. If you want to take a surf lesson, you can end up uh, up here and you can end up with me being your photographer because that's what I'm doing up here a lot of the times is taking pictures of people surfing. There are nice little waves here for nice little surfers who don't need Jaws, which is over on Maui that gives you like the 30-foot crazy wave. If you're just learning to surf, you want to take a lesson, this is a perfect spot. You can move up and down the bay uh, from time to time. There's different levels for different levels of surfers. So anyway, I wanted you to see Hanalei Bay and just how pretty that is. We're now going to drive out of the pier area. We're going to stop here for the sign because we're dutiful and legal drivers. And I want you to see, if you drive along here, so take note, the pier, or the uh, ocean and the pier, is to the right. So on the left, you see nice homes. On the right, you see really nice homes, because that's the beachfront property. It is real slow along here. It's just a, a lazy little lane. And a lot of the houses are kind of crammed in. There are a few that have a little acreage to them, but uh, space on an island like this, of course, is always at a premium. And so you go slow here. You'll see, like, right to the right there, it looks like a kind of a gated entry on some of these homes. You see a lot of gated entries here. There are a number of celebrities who have homes on the island. I just don't know them. I do know that Pierce Brosnan apparently has a house here, but he has yet to seek me out and invite me to his house. Um, I think that Bette Midler has property. She also has not invited me to her house. Um, Drew Barrymore did or does have property on the island. Uh, again, no invitation there. And uh, Mark Zuckerberg may be my best chance because somebody I know saw him in a drugstore just the other day. Well, he's a billionaire. He owns property on Kauai and we're the safest place in the world to be right now. So of course he's here. So Zuckerberg, if you're out there, you know, waiting for my invitation to come say hi to you too. Big fan. So we're driving along here. There are a couple of spots that you can turn to the right here and go out to little areas uh, where the water is. Like right here is called the pavilion. That's off to the right. You see that building there a little bit to the right. There's basically a couple buildings there that you can take shelter in, although the roof on the main building is so poor that the water just comes right through. So when it's raining and you run in and you think that you're going to be dry, you really are not safe yet. You're still going to get wet in there. But there are a couple of bathrooms there, and there's a grassy area you can walk down. There is a lifeguard station at that beach point, which is important if you're going to be swimming. Please try to swim at the lifeguarded beaches. It increases your chance of not drowning by a lot. And then if you keep going, you'll see the palm trees and so much vegetation. I'm still amazed. After years on the island, I'm still amazed at how things grow. Uh, if you don't like the rain, you're not going to like uh, the rain when you get it often here on Kauai, but look at what the rain does for us. Here's a guy who looks like he makes his living as a gardener, so he's probably appreciative of the moisture. Uh, but look at those mountains, look at the trees, a little trade wind blowing there it looks like. And all I'm going to do is head up here and show you one of the other entries, uh, and then after that I'm going to take you through Hanalei Town. Now, if you've been through Hanalei Town, you probably are longing to get back there because it is one of the quaintest uh, little shopping village type places that you can imagine uh, on any of the islands. And if you've never been there, then I'll, I'll show you in just a moment. It's funny, it's not right on the water. There's not a town that is right on the water uh, on Kauai that I know of. Uh, Kapa'a is uh, two blocks, a block and a half even. If you're in Kapa, you'll see people in bathing suits and their swimwear because if you just turn the corner in Kapa and walk a block and a half, you're at the ocean. So it's right there. But it's not right on the ocean. I want to say in Maui, on the island of Maui, uh, Lahaina is a town that is right on the water. It faces the waterfront. Now, I just made a right turn here, so obviously any of these right turns, you're going to bonk into the ocean. And I just wanted to show you this space. I'm not sure what they actually call this particular spot. But you can see that there's a lot of people out here, and there's a lot of room to park, and there's a lot of beach. Uh, I'm not going to stop at this one, but I'll stop at the next one, and I'll show you. And by the way, if you are interested in hot rods, there's one that seems to be sitting there. That must be drivable, right? How else is it sitting there? It's not a place where you'd store your hot rod. That doesn't seem reasonable. Look at the hotel way in the distance. Now, I don't know if that's the Princeville Hotel or the Weston Hotel. I, I can't get them straight. I get them mixed up. But you can see that that hotel resort up there is uh, pretty extravagant. And when you're out at this part of the water, you can you can see around the corner there, you can see 
where that is. Now remember the pier and where we started because we're going to drive back out here. Uh, again, by the way, these are bumpy roads. You can see that these are potholy and bumpy. If you come here, I would recommend so many people rent and drive Jeep Wranglers that it's almost comical. I mean, it's silly. There's so many Jeep Wranglers. And by the way, it rained just before this video. So did you notice that my windshield is dirty? Sorry about that. I should have done something about that before I started, but it's too late now. And you can see these white puffy clouds. Well, it was raining. It was raining before these white puffy clouds were the only thing in the sky. So anyway, my point was, uh, get something that's a little bit rough. An SUV of some sort is the preferred uh, car to drive on the island because many of these beaches, uh, when you turn off to the access road, they'll be really bumpy. They'll be really potholy. And I mean, like I'm driving a little sporty sedan as I record this, and I can't go on some of those little roads with my sporty little sedan because I'm three inches off the ground, and you need something with a little more, uh, a little more clearance there. So uh, you can see some of these nice houses off to the right there, another gated uh, home there. So it looks like there's a dead end in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and make a right, and I'll tool down to this last spot that I want to show you uh, before we turn around and head back to Hanalei. All of the beaches are open and my understanding is that all the beaches in the state of Hawaii are public and so you don't run much risk of getting yelled at by somebody because you're walking on their beach. These are all public beaches and you can see they've got signage up uh, that'll say you know no swimming or rip current or uh, you know because of the current conditions they'll often stick signs up that indicate the current conditions so you want to be paying attention to that. Uh, again, no lifeguard here, but there is one down down the way at the pavilion. I'm going to park the car right here. I'm going to get out, and I'm going to show you what it is that you find here because it's a little tough to to see the actual ocean. So there it is, strolling along, and you're this close to the water. That's what's nice. When you get to Kauai, it's not going to take you any time to get to the beach. Uh, I think in my video that I did before where I went from the Lahue Airport to Kalapaki Beach. I was talking about getting you to a beach in under 10 minutes from the airport. I think it took me seven. I think it was about seven, seven and a half minutes. There's the view and the pier is way over there to the right. Way at the other end, the pier is there where we were just walking moments ago. And so we got in the car and we drove all the way down here. And now we have this lovely view. And we'll get back in the car. Now what I want to do is just take a couple minutes and drive you through Hanalei Town because if you go to the south side of the island it will be drier uh, and a little warmer eh, drier at least uh, if you go to the north end of the island as I mentioned it does rain a little bit more well put it this way the Waimea Canyon is on the south end of the island and the island's only 33 miles across right at its widest point but the Waimea Canyon has cactus as you drive to the Waimea Canyon down the Waimea area Keep your eyes open, you'll see a big tall cactus on the side of the road. And in the meantime, drive, you know, less than, oh, eight or ten miles from there, and you're back in a jungly uh, rainforest. So here's the main stretch. This is the same road uh, that will take you all the way uh, up and down the uh, side of the island there. Uh, when you get out of the airport, you make a right on Kuhio Highway and you're headed north, or you make a left and you zigzag a little bit and then you're headed south. But this Kuhio Highway goes uh, all the way from the airport up to the north side of the island. It's, uh, as you can see, look, birds in the sky, beautiful blue sky, and yet, just a few minutes before it was raining, uh, hard enough to mess up my windshield. I want you to look at this beautiful church. Up here to the right, it's green, it's quaint, it's poetic, and it has been photographed and painted more times than probably any church in, in America. And you can see why. It's just super cute. Here it is. People come here and make it a pilgrimage just to make a, a point to drive by that little green church up in Hanalei. Now, so I'm going to keep going here, and you'll see, by the way, you know, if you blink, you might miss it. Hanalei is not big. None of these towns are big. These are quaint little, I would say Hawaiian villages, but they're really, they're tourist villages. They're, I want to say tourist traps. That sounds negative, but I like them. I like tourist traps, if you will, because they know how to treat you when you get there. Now, if you are staying on the North Shore, you'll undoubtedly spend time here and in Princeville. Princeville is just up the hill around the corner, and I'll talk more about that in a moment, too. But in Hanalei, this is what you get. Off to the left here, you're going to see the, uh, what's it called, Ching Young Village, I believe. 
and it's just really uh, as perfect as it could possibly be really I mean it, it look at the shops the restaurants there's art galleries back in there there's a whole alleyway of shops that are kind of hidden in there shave ice because it's hot did we talk about shave ice uh, okay so here's my plan by the way um, with life on Kauai the video series I really want to make this bigger and bigger as time goes on I want to go to each of these businesses including little surf shops and restaurants and quaint little stores and I want to interview each of them there's a surf shop right there you can take surf lessons at Hawaiian surfing adventures uh, I want to go to each of these places uh, do a full uh, review if you will have the food enjoy the shave ice and show you all of that so that's kind of the plan as we build up right now these are simple videos I just want to show you what the island looks like so that you can experience it uh, or relive it if you maybe been here in the past. Uh, again, as I record this, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Not many tourists coming here, although uh, some with the new conditions, uh, we have some tourists back on Kauai. So as the weeks and months go on, please uh, subscribe and uh, like and tell your friends. If you could share these videos, that would be fabulous. I'd love that. That would help me a lot. The bigger I can make this and the more we get this moving along and have more eyeballs on it, the better chance I'll have of getting those merchants to agree that, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have you come in and shoot some video and talk with our uh, talk with our customers and talk with our employees. And by the way, uh, the second to last thing I wanted to show you in today's video is the Hanalei Bridge. The Hanalei Bridge is famous for two reasons, I think. One, because it looks like that. It's such a pretty little bridge. It's one way, as are many, many, many bridges on Kauai and on in Hawaii, the state of Hawaii in general. Look at this beautiful bridge. Now, the other reason it's famous? Oh yeah, it floods every time it rains heavy. That river right there floods, and this bridge floods out uh, very often. If it rains heavy, eh, I, don't, I mean, not daily, not every time it rains, but quite often that bridge will be flooded. So you do need to pay attention to that. Uh, it's good to have a little weather app on your phone. It's good to pay attention to the radio uh, when you're on the island. And you might hear me on the radio, too. We'll talk more about that some other time. Did I say that I had one more thing to show you? Yeah, this is the final thing for today's video. These are the taro fields. Now, I am not an expert in taro. I've only had it in some kind of a little muffin cake type thing, uh, so I can't tell you too much about that. But I can tell you that these are the taro fields, and this lookout on the north shore of Kauai, just across from the town of Princeville, which we will have to look at in a different video, these are the taro fields, and this lookout is, is just about as pretty as it gets. Aloha. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes to tour Kauai with me. I'm Kendall Weaver. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and we'll make these videos better and better as they go on. I do photography and audio for a living, and eventually we'll build this up into a full-on show so that you can learn more about the place that hopefully you're going to come and visit very soon. Aloha, and thank you again.